Welcome to the second tutorial of Data Engineering Basics. If you are new here and you are curious about how Python can help transform your life and career, consider subscribing. In the previous video, we learnt about how to write a Python code to read data from CSV. However, we also saw some limitations. Today, we are going to use the built-in CSV library in Python and see how we can remove those limitations using the CSV module. So keep watching guys. So now we are going to use the Python CSV library, the built-in library to read the same data and to make sense and to try and remove all the uh, unnatural uh, uh, escape characters or any sort of uh, unnecessary uh, impure things that we don't want in our transformation. So how are you going to do that? So now what I can say is I can uh, let's not remove this. Let's create another file called test2. Yeah, I'm just uh, naming them test1, test2. Uh, it's just easier for me. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. But let's just uh, write uh, another uh, library. So I can say import CSV and then I can say uh, with open again. Uh, the file name the CSV file name so basically what with does is it keeps the file open as long as the process inside it under it haven't finished so that's why we are using the with uh, uh, thing here in uh, in our uh, code so now I can say is with open uh, CSV uh, let's give it a name as uh, CSV underscore file uh, good enough we can say data equal to uh, csv dot reader and then we can put here the csv file and then we can mention that the delimiter is a comma we know the delimiter is a comma we saw the raw data so we know the delimiter is a comma and uh, so here we can mention this now uh, so this is this basically creates a reader object from the CSV library in Python and Python and the CSV this reader object is going to take care of everything all kinds of transformation it's basically designed in the CSV format so all kinds of uh, escape sequences or code characters or some other uh, random things uh, uh, it automatically takes care of so now I can say for row in data let's for now let's just print the row right so we can just print the row now and here you see without applying anything in the previous uh, in this we had to do a split function we had to use a split function and we had to mention the comma delimiter uh, to divide uh, all the uh, strings by the delimiter and then to make it readable basically you know uh, to uh, make the data more usable but here we just had to uh, put our raw data file into a CSV reader object and the ob reader object basically takes care of everything. So this is one of the biggest advantage of using the CSV library. Now uh, let's uh, 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 as in uh, refine this further. So we all know that the first row here is basically the column names right we all know. So what we can do is here we can say line underscore count equal to 0 so basically we are saying we are starting from line count equal to 0 and every time we read a line we are going to add 1 to it so at the end of the code we will know how many lines we have exactly counted right so here you can say for row in data if line count equal to equal to 0 then we can say print this is a column row right it's a column row and then um, before we uh, get out of this if loop uh, we can say line underscore count plus equal to one so basically this means uh, if this is line count equal to equal to zero add one to line underscore count and uh, do it the same way the dog is making a lot of noise Jinji. Ah, idea, idea, idea. See how it comes. 
so we can basically say line underscore count plus equal to one and then it, it every time it reads a it reads a row it is actually going to add one to the line underscore count and at the end we can know how many lines we counted then we can say else so if line underscore count is not equal to zero we'll say else print this is this row contains data right and then again we say line underscore count plus equal to one right so and then after that we print the number of rows processed is percentage d and then uh, uh, you guys already know this from my python tutorials if you don't know what i'm doing please go and check my python tutorials on youtube um, yeah, they will uh, totally uh, help you this is basically string formatting go ahead and check out the string formatting uh, tutorial so here i can say line underscore count let's just print it and see how many lines we have counted right so the number of rows processed is 3302 uh, remember i told you we can write a function to get the number of rows so this is how you can do it so we counted 3302 this is all ro uh, raw uh, uh, raw data basically the first row is the column row and all the other rows after that is the column uh, is the data rows so now how can we modify this so in here we can also print out the values of the rows basically so here i can say uh, let's do something here I can say the values are values are percentage s right and I can say percentage I can just say row similarly the row uh, here I can say row contains percentage s and here also I can say the row right let's print this out let's see what it gives us so basically it says the row contains this data this data uh, and the, the first row contains uh, column uh, basically the column information now how do we make it into more readable format you know uh, so anyway you can already uh, same way since it is a list this uh, this is a list we can actually use indexing to uh, uh, use the relevant columns that we want to use for our own analysis but here we can also make it a little more um, how to say readable uh, because we don't uh, in these strings in the print we don't want to see them in list we want to see them maybe as you know uh, separated by comma just the value so here i can say here in the row i can say i can do something like this i can say uh, single uh, quotes uh, comma dot join row now what join does is basically join returns a string it takes a sequence of values as input and returns a string and the string are joined uh, or are concatenated to each other using the separator that we mentioned now here comma is the separator that we are mentioning right so what join will do is it will take all the values that are there so basically all these values it will join them using a comma and then we'll just return you the string version right uh, you will see how it looks basically so uh, i can copy this and i can put this here great and now let's just read it so see now the data is in more readable format you know like just for reading data uh, let me go to the top so you, the values are date open high low last volume open interest the row contains date uh, comma there is not no values here 486 486 so basically this is more readable format this is what join does if you didn't know now you know so this is how we can actually read data we can actually transform data to our own benefit uh, in the next lecture we are also going to cover how we can use this data uh, transform it find something new out of this data create a separate column again in the same data and save it to a new csv but for now uh, uh, this is uh, all for this tutorial how to read data from csv now i want to show you what are the most explicit benefits of using a library like csv let's delete everything well let's not delete it we wrote them uh, with a lot of difficulty 
so let's not let's just comment them yeah so here i can just say print row so we just see the most explicit uh, differences uh, so here you can see let's print both of them so now here the open uh, just the normal uh, python code that we wrote uh, just to read the data here you can see it is not getting rid of the new line sequence uh, sequence characters this is still there this is basically impure data you know this is basically unre unrequired information we would uh, actually want to get rid of it however the csv library uh, library if i print it here it automatically gets rid of those new line sequence characters that is one of the benefits other benefit is uh, sometimes there are court characters inside this uh, inside csv files for example let's go ahead click this csv and just randomly pick any value here and put double quotes around it by the way ideally in data engineering you should never do this never touch a raw data file it's not allowed whatever you want to do make your transformations on top of it all kinds of transformation but never do a raw data file but here just for the sake of learning we are doing this so now i have put double quotes around a number right so this is date high uh, open high low so this is the low column and this is the second row now if i print the data uh, again print the first uh, test.py and we go to the second row you can see we have this quotes in our uh, uh, red data as well so again this uh, three lines of code that we have written of course it's not too much uh, uh, it is uh, it hasn't uh, yet uh, got, uh, gotten rid of these uh, let's say abnormalities you know these code characters because ideally when you store this kind of data in a database uh, this is going to be a float data type right these are all float numbers 456 464.0 and when there are quotes around it uh, the databases will interpret a string and then it will throw you an error so basically these are abnormalities and anyway uh, this is only 3302 uh, rows long uh, i think what i remember but uh, when you are reading millions of data uh, and uh, the data is uh, you don't have any control over uh, what uh, quality of data you are receiving it is very important that you take these things into account you cannot uh, control these things or you cannot see them in advance so uh, this is one thing that uh, the code characters are not getting rid of so we have to write another some few lines of code to check whether the, uh, the csv file that we read has some code characters and then get rid of them which is which will be tedious it's not impossible but it's tedious however here if I just print the row here again, you see in the second row, CSV module has automatically got rid of the code character without doing anything. We didn't mention anything. We just used the reader object. We passed in our uh, input CSV and now the code, character, uh, uh, code characters have completely gone away. So these are the most explicit advantages of using a library like CSV. Also, right now, these days, uh, people are using even more advanced libraries like Pandas uh, or Petal. Uh, but for now, I think just for reading CSV, uh, for practicing how to read data from CSV or doing some very minor uh, transformations, uh, I think this is enough. So in this tutorial, we saw the various advantages of using a library like CSV to read data. It automatically takes care of delimiters, escape sequences and code characters and it also makes the entire python coding process very handy again guys thank you for watching if you like the video please click, click subscribe and share it with your friends thank you by the way the guy i was talking to in the middle of the video is this he's trying to disturb me look at him